Welcome to Bakugan Battle Basics and your first step towards becoming a true Bakugan master. First, a brief introduction to the universe of Bakugan. Bakugan represents six important attributes, Aquos, Pyrus, Subterra, Darkus, Heos, and Ventus. Each brings their own extraordinary powers and all the forces of these attributes to every confrontation. That's where you come in. Every battle is intense and requires all the wit, knowledge, and courage you can summon. Let's start with a two-player game. First, the game area must be arranged with both players sitting directly across from each other in the field. Each player will create a space on their right for unused Bakugan and Bakugan cards, their unused pile. Then each player will create a space on their left for used Bakugan and Bakugan cards, their used pile. This is a Bakugan. It will open when it rolls over one of the gate cards. You will find its G power printed on the inside of your Bakugan. To begin play, each player needs to have three Bakugan, three gate cards, one silver, one copper, one gold, and three ability cards, one blue, one red, one green. All cards are placed face down in your unused pile so your opponent can't see them. The first player to have three gate cards in their used pile wins that game. Gate cards are the heavier cards framed in silver, copper, and gold. They are the cards that you lay down in the battlefield, and they are the cards that activate your Bakugan for battle. Ability cards are lighter than gate cards and are framed in blue, red, or green. These guys can be real game changers. Use them wisely. Are you set up? Do you have your three Bakugan, three gate cards, and three ability cards? If you answered yes, you're ready to get your game on. Now you're ready to roll. To begin, each player places one of their gate cards face down in the center of the playing field in the space closest to their opponent, furthest from themselves. Players must be at least two card lengths from the battlefield to begin their roll. The youngest player always goes first, and then players take turns after that. The first player selects their Bakugan and rolls it over the gate cards in the center of the playing field. If the Bakugan misses and does not land on a card, it is then moved into that player's used pile. Now you roll, and your Bakugan hits and stands. Now it's your opponent's turn. He hits and stands too. The battle is on. Now each player takes their Bakugan and looks for the G power number inside their Bakugan. His says 320, and yours says 300. Next, flip over the gate card and look on the left-hand side for the numbers listed in the colored circles. Each circle matches a different Bakugan attribute. This is called the gate attribute bonus. Now add the gate attribute bonus number that corresponds to your Bakugan. So add 140 to 300, and that equals 440. Now add your opponent's G power to the number on the card that matches his Bakugan gate attribute bonus. 320 plus 80 equals 400. In other words, match up the red Pyrus Bakugan with the red Pyrus gate attribute bonus, and the brown Subterra Bakugan with the brown Subterra gate attribute bonus. Your total G power is 440. Your opponent's is only 400. That means you take that gate card and your Bakugan and place them in your used pile. Remember, the first to have three gate cards in their used pile wins that game. Your opponent puts his used Bakugan in his used pile. Time for you to roll again hopefully over the remaining gate card. Roll, and then your opponent rolls. And now you're both standing on the same gate card. Another battle ensues, and this time your gate card has some text that changes the game. Each Bakugan has a G power of 330. Now, let's check the gate card. Looks like you add another 90 to your G power, which equals 420. Your opponent adds another 140 to his G power. That's 470. But wait, there's more! There's text at the bottom of this gate card, and it says that the Bakugan with the lowest G power wins this battle. Whatever the card says overrules the regular rules of the game, so you win again, because you have the lower total G power. You take the gate card and your Bakugan and put it in your used pile. 
your opponent takes his Bakugan and puts it in his used pile. Now, the game's not over yet. You still need to get one more gate card into your used pile to win. Since there's no gate cards in the middle of the battlefield, each player takes one gate card from his unused pile and places it face down in the space furthest from him and closest to his opponent. Each player takes turns rolling. Since your opponent rolled last, it's your turn. Look, you each landed on a gate card. Time for your next battle. Each player takes his Bakugan and notes its G power. Then we check the attribute G power on the gate card. So your opponent has 550 plus 50 equals 600. And you have 400 plus 170, which equals 570. If there are no extra instructions in the text box to help you, there is still one more way to salvage the situation. Use one of your ability cards. That's right, you've got another weapon in your arsenal. Let's take a look at the ability cards in your unused pile to see what you can use. This ability card gives you a G power boost, and it says you can use it during battle and that you can add more G power based on your Bakugan attribute. In this case, you get an 80 G power boost, so 570 plus 80 equals 650. Now, put this gate card and ability card in your used pile along with the other two gate cards you won. Remember, winning three gate cards means you've won that game. You win! Lastly, remember to return all cards and Bakugan back to their original owner. Now, let's go over some what-ifs that may come up as you play more and more Bakugan. What if you roll two of your own Bakugan on your own card? Since you can't have two of your own Bakugan on a gate card, you get to choose which Bakugan remains on that card and which will move to the other gate card. What if you have two Bakugan on your own gate card and there is no other gate card in the battlefield? If you have two of your own Bakugan on the same gate card and there is no other gate card in the playing field, you automatically win that gate card and the battle. Gather up your Bakugan and the card and put them in your used pile. Now, what if after all the G power is added up, you're still tied? Simple. Whoever was the first to land their Bakugan on the gate card for that battle automatically wins. What if you don't have any Bakugan in your unused pile to roll? In this case, close all the Bakugan in your used pile and place them in your unused pile. Closing your Bakugan can be fun too. Like a puzzle, the parts go together in a particular order. Don't rush it or cram them together. If you find your Bakugan isn't closing like it should, you may have to roll it over a gate card again to reopen so you can start all over again. Well, that covers the basics of Bakugan Battle. Remember, the more you play, the better you get. And the more you learn, the better you get. Log on to www.bakugan.com for all the updates, strategies, information, and tips you need to help you become a Bakugan master.